What's going on YouTube, Gary here, GZ Duels, bringing you guys a pre-recorded duel video between, of course, my Chaos Ninja deck and my opponent who's using Gustos. And I've been testing with Chaos Ninjas a lot lately, and uh, I'm really excited to present to you guys the deck profile later on, probably tomorrow or today. And it's my turn, I draw into Upstar Gold Ninja. Uh, I was thinking about the standard first move. Um, the first move uh, I would most likely do is go into a lava chain, but since I do have all the BLS and the um, uh, and the honest with me, I'm just going to go into my second choice of uh, the standard first turn move, which is the Constellar Omega, and I'm going to set two trap cards in order to support the Constellar Omega. If my opponent uses uh, Swarms the Field, I'm going to use Torrential Tribute in order to uh, get rid of the board while chaining Omega's effect, thus Omega would escape the destructions of Torrential Tribute. And uh, if my opponent tries to attack over Constellar Omega, I'll just use Honest's effect. So my opponent chains Compulse to the summoning of Omega, and I use Omega's effect to escape the Compulse. And then I enter battle phase using Constellar Omega to attack into the face down, which is of course the eagle that he searched using Pot of Duality. And that Gusto Eagle is going to allow my opponent to summon Musto, the Priest of Gusto. And uh, I really don't have much to do, so I set uh, the Torrential and the Solemn Judgment, and then pass my turn off to my opponent. My opponent draws, and uh, he's going to use Pot of Duality, which is good news for me because he won't swarm the field. And he uses that to get uh, Winda instead of Monster Reborn or anything. And he's going to use Musto's effect in order to negate the my Constellar Omega's effect, which is really sad because he chains uh, he uses um, Smashing Ground, which forces me kind of to use uh, to use Solemn Judgment because I really need to keep this Constellar Omega on the board. And the other unfortunate thing is he uses Creature Swap, and I made a mistake of not using uh, Constellar's Omega's effect to detach the material, uh, even though my opponent fall, uh, mistakenly did, and uh, that's a good news for me. But um, I totally should have done it. I don't want to allow my opponent to have a Constellar Omega next turn with materials since I do have to enter Tribute set. And I draw into Monster Reborn, which means I don't have a lot of options right now. So I'm going to just pass the turn. If my opponent flips summons or normal summons, I'll use Torrential Tribute. If he attacks, and um, which I think he does, I'll just take the 2400 damage. It won't uh, be enough to kill me, which is, I guess, the lesser of two evils. And he ends his turn off, and it's my turn. I draw into a Reinforcement of the Army, which is basically the comeback card of the deck. It's like, you know how heroes have um, Miracle Fusion? Well, I have Reinforcement of the Army, which gets Hanzo. And Hanzo gets the uh, gets the uh, Super Transformation, which is the godlike card. And I'm going to use Hanzo to attack into the Winda, which he, he got from the Pot of Duality. And Winda is basically going to summon the monster that I will transform with. And um, I should be transforming into... I uh, should be transforming into... Oh, so unfortunately he summoned Eagle, so the best thing I'll transform into is basically Debris Dragon. Uh, that is, until my opponent made the fatal mistake of using Creature Swap, and I'm like, okay, cool, I'll just chain two, and then use Super Transformation, get the Debris Dragon in attack mode, and you're just going to give me back my Constellar Omega, right? That's great. Which forces my opponent then to use Dark Hole. So he went really minus on this um, on this play right here. And then he used Junk Warrior, uh, Junk uh, Synchron to get try to use the effect to get back Winda. Um, and of course, I did prepare for uh, a Field Swarm with the Torrential Tribute. So I'm going to chain Torrential Tribute to the Summoning of Winda. That's clearing his board completely. He only has one card in his hand. I have four. So I'm going to use, first of all, Monster Reborn to get back Constellar Omega. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I have uh, M7. I really like M7. It helps me recycle the stuff. It could help me get back a Hanzo from the graveyard. It could help me get back a BLS or Honest from the graveyard. So I'm really glad um, I, I should have it. And then my opponent tries to attack over it. I'll just use Honest. My turn. I'll use this effect to get back Honest to my hand, which is really, really broken. But unfortunately, um, I should. Uh, I, I decided to just overcommit to the board. Um, the reason being, basically, if my opponent 
top stacks a dark hole and he has a monster in his hand, I'll lose anyway because my life point is too low. So I might as well just do the maximum damage I can and then prepare for the worst with the super transformation, right? And it's my opponent's turn. My opponent didn't have dark hole, but he had mind control. And I was really sad because he totally could have gotten my uh, BLS and just removed the BLS uh, using uh, BLS effect to remove the M7 or something like that. But he did. He used it to get back his um, junk synchron using my M7, and uh, I'm basically going to let this go until he synchro summons into something that I feel like is a threat. And so he uses junk synchron's effect to pull back Winda in order to synchro summon for Ally of Justice Cataster, which then I have to super trans uh, transform with in order to get my Light Pulsar Dragon. And he activates Pot of Avarice, which makes me kind of regret not super transformation, uh, using tra super transformation sooner on window or something. And uh, uh, fortunately, he didn't draw into Dark Hole uh, so, and Monster Reborn. That would be really sad. He sets two cards. It's my turn. Uh, I decide to move the BLS into defense mode in case he has um, Mirror Force. And I'll attack first with the M7. And he uses Dimension Prison on my M7. And then I'm going to attack with the Light Pulsar Dragon, and he surrenders. Alright, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. This is GZ Duels, signing out.